tuning in to the first installment of All Cool Stuff. I'm Cool Card, and what I'm going to be doing on this show is giving you cool tech reviews on some of the latest gadgets, as well as tips and tricks and some apps to help you maximize the capabilities of your smart device, whether it be a smartphone or a tablet or whatever have you. All right, and I'm going to be real with you. I'm starting out brand new to this. So I don't have my hands on a lot of gadgets, but I promise you, I will get there. If you guys just help me along, man, I'm going to keep you engaged with these cool tips and tricks and apps. Remember, your phone is as good as the apps that you have on it. That's why there is the App Store. That's why there is the Google Play Store. I'm telling you, there's some great apps out here, man, that will blow your mind. That You can, you can be whoever you want to be <laughs> or whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do on these phones. You don't even have to pick up a computer these days sometimes unless you're just really, really heavy into editing and videography and stuff like that. Um, but, however, it can assist you along with if you are um, heavy into those things, heavy into those fields. These phones can assist you while you're on the go. Now, for the people that do not really pick up their cell phones as much. They only text, send email, might talk a little bit. Eh, you know, I can help you out. I can help you open up the door to greatness with these cell phones and you can understand it more. It's simplicity, trust me. Do not be afraid of it, do not fear the device, okay? The device can help you. You don't have to be addicted to it either, but the device can do so much more for you. Now, for those out there that do use it for business, send emails, faxes, scans, PDFs, signed contracts, all that, I'll give you a couple tips and tricks that you may not know or you might know, but just stay tuned because I'm pretty sure there will be some things that you don't know. You can pick up some tips and we can all learn some things. I'm still learning. I don't know it all. I scour the, the, the internet for new things every single day. I scour the app store for new apps every single day. So, stuff I might find you might not have heard of, you might not know of. I'm going to bring it to you, all right? So, what I want to talk about on this episode is people on the Sprint Network. You all know that you cannot, you cannot, if you are not connected to Wi-Fi, if you are using your cell phone, you cannot surf the internet, all right? You cannot transmit data while you are on a cellular phone call on the Spark network, which is Sprint, okay? Meaning, if you're on an iPhone and you're trying to send an iMessage while you're talking on the phone, sometimes it may not go through. That is because an iMessage uses data, all right? So you cannot transmit that data while you're on the phone. However, on an iPhone, there is a setting that is built in that will enable the phone to convert it. It will identify that you're trying to transmit data while you're on the phone. It will convert the iMessage to a text message so it can be sent out. However, this is technology. This is a device. It does not always work. I know. Very frustrated trying to send out iMessages. They were not going through. Very frustrating to say the least. All right. So I came up on the setting, didn't even know they had the setting on the phone, came up on the setting, it was already on. So what's going on? It's not working. So I had to figure out how to manually force this thing through to turn, to convert it into, an, to, to convert it into a text message, sorry. Um, so after doing this a couple times, the phone started realizing and recognizing that I was trying to send an iMessage. So it started converting them to text messages and I know I no longer had to do it manually, but I'm here to show you how to set that setting and force that iMessage to send as a text message. All right, so let's begin. So the first thing we wanna do is go into the settings. Tap this down there. All right, so now you're in your settings. You wanna scroll down to where it says messages. Then you want to scroll down to where it says send as SMS. Make sure that is checked green. All right, meaning it's enabled. Underneath it says send as SMS when iMessage is unavailable. And that's exactly what we want. All right, so I'm already on a call. So I'm going to go into my messaging, iMessenger. And we're going to send a text message to Chi. All right. So let's do a test. We send it. All right. Now you see on the iPhone when it's blue, that means you're sending a message to an iPhone. Now, mind you, this is when you're trying to send an iMessage to another iPhone user. So if you send it to an Android from an iPhone, it should already just send as a text message. So Chi has an iPhone, so I'm sending it to him. And you can see the status bar up there has stalled out because I am on a call right now. So 
we have to manually push it through. What you want to do is put your finger, rest your finger on the word test. Now, the little bubble pops up where normally it'll say copy, paste, whatever. All right, select, select all and all that. Now, because I'm on the call, it's saying send as text message. So what you want to do is just click that. And there you go. The blue status bar is gone. The word test is now green. It is now, it now has been sent as a text message. All right, so there you have it. If it's been wrecking your brain, you couldn't figure it out, there you go. I know it was wrecking my brain for a minute, did some research and found this. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I know it probably can be helpful to some. Some probably already know this. But uh, if you like the video, down below, press the subscribe button. I will be back with more. Stay tuned. I am Cool Card and I appreciate the love. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks and until next time.